Welcome to Textbook Engineering Problem, where we explore complex engineering problems and discuss different methods for solving them. In this video, I'll be breaking down a problem and discussing different ways to tackle it. However, keep in mind that there is no one correct path for some of these solutions, and I encourage you to share your own insights and thoughts in the comments. Together, we can learn and improve our problem-solving skills. So, sit back, grab a notebook, and let's dive into today's problem. Today we're working out of Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes 3rd Edition. We're doing problem number 3.35. I'll go ahead and read the problem statement. The viewing window in a diving suit has an area of roughly 65 centimeters squared. If an attempt were made to maintain the pressure on the inside of the suit at one atmosphere, what force would the window have to withstand if the diver descended to a depth of 150 meters. Take the specific gravity of the water to be 1.05. Okay, so from the problem statement, we've got a diver in a diver suit here, and he's got a window right there that he has to view out of. Well, that window um, needs to be able to withstand a lot of pressure um, and so it's inside, inside the glass, we've got a certain pressure that's one atmosphere, and then outside we've got a certain pressure that's due to the hydrostatic pressure um, of diving down to 150 meters. The area of the glass is 65 centimeters squared. We know that the inside they gave to us is one atmosphere. The specific gravity of the water is 1.05 and the depth that he dives to, or the diver goes to, is 150 meters. And we want to know what the, the difference in pressure is between inside the suit and outside the suit. Okay, so, well, we want to know the difference in the force, because it says what force would he have to maintain. Okay, so, so the difference in the force is equal to the difference in the pressure, that pressure gradient, and the area times the area. Okay, so let's look at what the pressure on the outside of the glass is. The pressure on the outside of the glass, it, this is the general formula that includes pressure plus the hydrostatic pressure. Okay, so we've got one atmosphere, that's our reference pressure from you know, the, all the air that's above the water that the person dived in. Um, so we've got a certain reference pressure, one atmosphere at the surface of the water, but then we also have all the water that's on top of us, which would be, this is the density of the water, this is the acceleration due to gravity, and then this is the depth that he, uh, the diver goes to. Okay, then we've got um, the, uh, the hydrostatic pressure right here in Pascal's, and then I just left this as one atmosphere because remember, we're doing P out minus P in. We know that P in is one atmosphere, so I'll just leave this one atmosphere on the outside and it's gonna cancel with, with P in, okay? So we know that the, the delta force is just this piece, the hydrostatic pressure, times the area of the glass right here. So we've got hydrostatic pressure times the area and then we convert this into meters and then that gives us newtons right here, newtons of force and then we can convert that into pounds of force. So that's about 2,400 pounds. This is the conversion I used in order to convert between newtons and pounds of force. And that is a lot of pressure that that glass has to maintain so yeah that is the uh, answer to problem 3.35 thank you for watching and i hope you found this video helpful in your problem solving journey remember there are other routes you can take to arrive at the same correct answer and i encourage you to leave a comment with any additional insights or questions you may have also if you have any specific engineering problems you would like me to cover please let me know in the comments your feedback is valuable, and I look forward to continuing the conversation with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more engineering problem-solving videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.